thy brother in thy heart. Many times we sit up here and we ask, what's the problem in Chicago? The problem is hatred in Chicago. Anytime you shoot up a whole crowd and don't give a damn who in it, that's hatred. Read. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thy heart. Thou shalt what? Not hate thy brother in thy heart. Guess what? That black and his belly brother that you beefing with, that stay a black over, Guess what? God said that's your brother. Thou shalt not avenge. What? Thou shalt not avenge. What? Thou shalt not avenge. That's the problem in Chicago. Everybody won't get back. Everybody wants they lick back. Y'all don't see it's a never ending cycle. So let's touch some transgressions. Give me Leviticus 19 and 17. Are y'all not watching the news? Every day it is a shooting. Every day somebody is dying. We don't see nothing wrong with that. You just had a couple just get their brains blew up on Division Street doing what was supposed to be Puerto Rican celebration. Where was the Puerto Rican pride in that? You just had on 63rd and Artesia on the south side, some Negroes ran up on the crowd, shot the crowd up, did all that shooting, and they only hit a woman who probably had kids, who probably was somebody's mama. Read. The book of Leviticus chapter 19, verse 17. Uh -huh. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thy heart. Many times we sit up here and we ask, what's the problem in Chicago? The problem is hatred in Chicago. It's not nothing to do with money, it's hatred. That's the problem. Anytime you shoot up a whole crowd and don't give a damn who in it, that's hatred. Read. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thy heart. Thou shalt what? Not hate thy brother in thy heart. Guess what? That black and his belly brother that you beefing with, that stay a black over, guess what? God said that's your brother. You're not supposed to hate him in your mind. Because how did this stuff start? It started off with a thought. I hate that nigga. That's one of the ops. Why is he one of the ops? Is he one of the ops because somebody told you he one of the ops? Do y'all even know what y'all fighting for? Read. Thou shalt in any wise rebuke thy neighbor. This is another problem. We don't correct each other in the black and Hispanic neighborhood. A lot of y'all see these young men out here walking around with guns, selling rocks, selling blows, selling weed, selling pills, selling lean, and you don't say nothing. That ain't my baby. That ain't my child. But then you cry when he shoot up the block you live on. You cry when that straight bullet hit you. When that straight bullet hit your mom. We don't correct nothing. That's why there's so much murder in our community. This message is for the black, Hispanic, and Native Americans. I don't want to hear nothing about no economics. We can't come together and do none of that good stuff until we deal with what's happening at home. That's right. Hatred. Read. And not suffer sin upon him. And not suffer sin upon him. What that mean? If you know your brother is doing wrong, you're supposed to tell him he's doing wrong. It's not okay to sell rocks and blows. That fast money ain't good money, brothers. I'm going to tell y'all something. Y'all can make more money working a legit job than serve, than push your backs. Guess what? You can make a bag, check a bag without looking over your shoulder. That's not life. A lot of y'all think that this is life. Read it again. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thine heart. Uh -huh. Thou shalt in any wise rebuke thy neighbor uh -huh. and not suffer sin upon him. Uh -huh. Thou shalt not avenge uh -huh. nor bear any grudge against the children of thy people. Thou shalt not what? Thou shalt not avenge. What? Thou shalt not avenge. What? Thou shalt not avenge. That's the problem in Chicago. Everybody wants to get back. Everybody wants they lick back. Y'all don't see it's a never ending cycle. Y'all slide on them, shoot up their block, they slide on you, 
shoot up your block and then never stop. How many family members you done lost? How many of your best friends you done had to look at in cast? When is we gonna wake up? When is we gonna understand? When is we gonna see that our ways don't work? Some got a click, it's 2021. How are we still gangbanging? How many people you done seen go to jail and get left, get forgotten? They was riding hard for the block. No letters, no commissary. Nobody taking care of their kids or their mama. How many brothers got to keep going through that? Proverbs 1 and 20. We are out here to wake you brothers and sisters up out here. Your way don't work. Try God's way and I guarantee it's going to work. You know what's proof? The brothers you see standing right here. Read. Proverbs chapter 1 verse 20. Wisdom cried without. She uttered her voice in the streets. This is wisdom coming out right now to you blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. This is wisdom. I know you think wisdom is going to college. Y'all done spent six, seven, eight years in college and you still do not have wisdom. This is real wisdom. Read. Wisdom cried without. She wisdom is coming out. Where is it coming out at? Read. She uttered her voice in the street. Wisdom coming out right here on the streets of Chicago right now. Read. She cried in a cheap place of concourse. This is a cheap place. This is where everybody be at. This is where it's busting at, like we say. Read. She cried in a cheap place of concourse in the opening of the gates in the city. She uttered her words saying, how long ye simple ones will ye love simplicity? You know what God just said right there? How long we gonna keep being stupid? How long we gonna keep being foolish? Doing the same thing, you running a hamster wheel. You gonna keep serving till they build a case on you and lock you up forever. How long we gonna keep doing the same thing? It don't work. I know brothers right now, Brothers right now I went to school with 47 years and he 25. You can't tell me that's what he wanted. Your decisions is gonna get you death and destruction. That's why we need God. I'm not telling you go to church. At church they sending you off. In church they robbing you. I'm telling you to follow what the Bible says. Not that's bad. Right. right. Read. How long, ye simple ones, will ye love simplicity? Uh -huh. And the scorners delight in their scorning. Then you got some brothers and sisters out here. Some brothers and sisters, they gonna make comments. They gonna say, get the hell from over here. This, that, and the third. All you gotta do is listen. Read. And fools hate knowledge. And what? And fools hate knowledge. God said, if you don't wanna listen to this message, you are what? Fools hate knowledge. God says, fools hate knowledge. This knowledge, my brothers, will keep you alive. This knowledge will stop you from being the next one on the show. This knowledge will help you rebuild your community. Marching is not going to stop nothing. Read. Verse 23. Turn ye at my reproof. What did God say? Turn ye at my reproof. Turn ye at my reproof. God said, come listen to what I got to say. That's what God is saying. Read. Turn ye at my reproof. Turn ye at his reproof. Turn ye at his reproof. Listen to God's correction. Read. Behold, I will pour out my spirit unto you. I will make known my words unto you. God is making known his word unto you black, Hispanic, and Native Americans. Read. Because I have called and ye refuse. He what? I called and ye refuse. God is calling right now. But some about our people, God comes speak to them, they don't listen. God is coming to you right now. You think God gonna come walk down and talk to you? No. He sent his prophets, he sent his messages to you. Stop gang banging. Stop selling drugs. Sisters, keep your legs closed. Right. Stop letting these men lay down with you and they not gonna support you financially. 
How many women you know, baby mama? When is we gonna wake up? Read. I have stretched out my hand and no man regarded. God said he stretched out his hand and nobody gave a damn. Right now he's stretching out his hand. Brothers, if y'all follow these instructions in here, you're going to be straight. You keep following your way, your way is going to get you death and destruction. Read. Verse 25. But ye have set at naught all my counsel. You say the hell with what God got to say. You think you know better, but look at humble part. This is what your way got you. Turn away. This is what your way got you. Our way does not work as a people. Read. But ye have said at not all my counsel and with none of my reproof. You said at not all of God's counsel and would not listen to his instruction. Read. I also will laugh at your calamity. What did God say? I also will laugh at your calamity. God said, since you don't want to listen to me, 71 shot, 4 dead. 41 shot, 5 dead. Oh, I know we think it's the brothers on the block that's pulling the trigger. God is orchestrating everything. He said, since you don't want to listen to me, I'm going to laugh at you when destruction comes. Read. I will mock when your fear coming. God said he's going to mock you when your fear comes. He's going to laugh when you're afraid. Read. When your fear cometh as, des as desolation and your destruction cometh, cometh as a whirlwind, when distress and anguish come upon you, then they shall call upon me, but I will not answer. Guess what? God understands this. Negroes don't listen to nothing until heads start rolling. God understand the only time our people want to pray is when something bad happens. That's when we want to have a prayer circle, a hope for prayer, a prayer vision. When it's shooting, when it's killing, when it's some children missing. Give me Deuteronomy 32, 39. We got to understand the God that we serve. God is not playing. Are you not watching the news? It's chaos all over the earth because we are in the last days. So you can play if you want to. You either going to get right with God and live or follow sin and die. It's just that simple. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 32 verse 39. Read. See now that I, even I am he, and there is no God with me. I kill and I make a lie. Uh -huh. I wound and I heal. Uh -huh. Neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. Read it again from the top. See now that I, even I, am he, and there is no God with me. I Amen. kill. God said there's nobody giving him instructions. He is in charge. Read. I kill. What did God say? I kill. What did God say? I kill. So when it's killing going on in the earth, brothers and sisters, God is behind it. When you see tornadoes, that's God. When you see mass shootings, that's God. It's too much evil going on in this earth. It's too much evil going on in this neighborhood. God is not standing for it. Read. And I make a lie. And I, he and makes I a lie. make a lie. And he makes a lie. Some of y'all got bullet wounds. Some of y'all that survived shootouts. Why is that? God allowed you to live. He didn't allow you to live so you can keep turning up, so you can keep your savage up. God allowed you to live to give you a chance to change. Read. I wound and I heal. Some of y'all have been wounded, but God allowed your wounds to heal. Why? He's trying to be patient with you, but God is not going to keep being patient for long. Read. Neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. Meaning what? Once God got that target on you, once God has decided he is done tolerating your actions, it's over. Understand that. Give me Zechariah 7 and verse 11. We got to understand that God that we serve we must understand the God that we serve, and we must understand our actions. 
The community ain't all on the white man as the wives like this. We play the part in this. Read. Zechariah chapter 7 verse 11. Uh -huh. But they refused to hearken and pulled away the shoulder and stopped their ears. Read that again. But they refused to hearken and pulled away the shoulder and stopped their ears. God said you refused to listen. Look at us right now. We bringing out valuable information for brothers to live. Right. And brothers ain't trying to hear. Sisters ain't trying to hear. They trying to turn up. They trying to get high. That's more important. Read it again. But they refused to hearken and pulled away the shoulder and stopped their ears. When it say pull away the shoulder, that's saying what? You snatch away from somebody. We come out here, we try to reach our people. They say, get away from me. I don't want to hear that. Keep that to yourself. I do me. That's what they say. But you doing you, why has it benefited you? Why has it brought you? Nothing. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.